This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We certainly praise God. Behind He has blessed us. Amen. As the scripture says, He has blessed us uh, to be seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And I thank God for the blessing. I thank God for the anointing. Uh, we want to uh, go back to. First Peter, First Peter chapter number four. First Peter chapter number four. And uh, as we are endeavoring to, to go into our Bible study on tonight, uh, we've been dealing with the book of, of Peter, and Peter is dealing with uh, the church uh, body of Christ. Going through suffering, amen. Going through suffering, trials and tribulation, and um, you know the scriptures teach us that you know we're not exempt. You know we're in the body of Christ. We're not exempt from trials and tribulations, amen. And that's no new revelation to us because we've been dealing with some trials and tribulations, haven't we? And you know I don't know if I can ask anybody uh, here in this room. Have you experienced any trials and tribulations since you've been saved? I, I'm sure everybody would raise their hand. Amen. Because we're not exempt uh, from trials and tribulations. And, and, and because of that, there is a way for the saints of God to go through, amen, to go through trials and tribulations. And uh, the Bible teaches us that we should look at the things that we endure not as punishment, but as, as, as means and ways to draw us closer to the Lord. Amen? And that's what the scripture means when it says, count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations, when you go through diverse tests and trials, uh, when things are coming your way. Uh, um, and we should as uh, the scripture says, count it all joy. Amen. When we go through diverse temptations and tribulations and problems and conditions and situations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith, as the scripture says, work in patience. Uh, and it says, let patience have a work. Perfect work. Perfect work that you might be entire, complete, and wanting nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. When, when God when God sent the children of Israel, they were born through the desert place. God said, I sent you that way to, so I can prove you, so I can see what is in your heart, so you can see whether or not you love me, and also to test them to see if they would choose God's way. Amen. There, there's a way, the Bible says, that seems right unto a man, but the end of those ways are death, but all of the way of the Lord is life. Amen. When you choose God and you allow him to order your steps, it makes life better. Amen. Uh, because the Lord is the author of life, isn't he? Yes. Uh, so he wrote a manual for life. And that manual for life is the Bible. Amen. Uh, so when we follow God's word and follow the manual for life, then, then life becomes better. Man, life becomes easier. Uh, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When we come into the world, we have a disadvantage. That disadvantage is because of sin. Sin is the transgression of the word of God. And when Adam and Eve sin, he, they pass that sin on to us. Amen? Uh, but, but when we, when we uh, commit our way into the Lord and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, he, he bore the burden for our sin. Didn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's a burden bearer. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave. Who did he give? His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but not what? That will last me life. There's life in Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's life even for those that die in Christ, there's life in Jesus. Yes. Amen. We have hope, don't we? Yes. Uh, my God. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let us look in at, let me, let, let's hold uh, uh, 1 Peter 4 and 1, but let us go real quickly over to the book of St. John. Uh, St. John chapter number 5. Thank you, Jesus. St. John chapter number 5. 
There's more 
Then he appeared on the scene when, when the time was right. 
he appeared unto John the Baptist, uh, and John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. See, that was the reason why Jesus was born, so he could take away the sin of the world, our sin. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and then he was baptized with the Holy Ghost uh, in, in the river of Jordan. The, the heavens opened. The Holy Ghost descended upon him in the form of a dove. Hallelujah. And God spoke himself. Said, Behold, Bill, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Uh, and then Jesus began his ministry. And his 
chapter number four and verse number one. All right, read that again. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, yes. arm yourselves, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. All right, now notice. He said, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. Keep that same mind that was in Christ Jesus. Yes. Who being in the form of God, yes. the scripture says, thought himself. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. And Yahweh. Uh, but 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 found himself in the fashion of man, he did what? Humble himself. Yes. Amen. We got to humble ourselves. Yes. Don't let God humble you. No. Uh, uh, you humble yourself. Yes. Uh, humble yourself. Uh, so Jesus humbled himself and became what? Obedient. Uh, unto death. What did he obey? He obeyed the word. Yes. We have to obey the word. Yes. Amen. The word is everything. Yes, it is. The word is Christ. The word is everything. Yes. The word is our protection. Yes. The word is our guarantee. Yes. The word is our strength. Yes. The word is our anchor. Yes. Uh, the word is our life. Yes. Amen. The word is our hope. Yes. Amen. Yes. You can be healed by the word. Yes. Uh, you can be strengthened by the word. Yes. All right? Yes. Uh, the more word you know, the more power you have. Yes. Uh, uh, now, I'm going to say something very controversial. You can have a Holy Ghost. Amen? But not have the word, then you don't get the Holy Ghost nothing to work with. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. The Holy Ghost works with the word yes. that is you. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, Saw us coming in. Saw us coming in to go. Saw us. 
bring not with them to the same excess of right. Uh, speaking evil of you. That's like, that's like you, you used to be a lawyer and you used to be a road browser and uh, uh, you go, you get saved and then you go back over to your friends uh, 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 and you, you get around them, they're offering you uh, the same lifestyle that you had, the Budweiser, the Corona, the Rebus, and all that, you know, and, and, and all your girlfriends, they, they want to uh, get with you. And you say, oh, Lord, I can't do that. I'm saying I'm going to follow your curse and a new appetite. Now, because they're not regenerated, they're going to get you and say, what's wrong with you? These are the things that we love. These are the things we have fun with. Yeah, right. uh, so, so now they, they call you um, evil. You know, you went to that church and they didn't uh, uh, right. uh, uh, right. uh, uh, right. 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 They didn't uh, They didn't brainwash you. They didn't give something to you. You've been moving. You didn't tell them, no, 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 no. I just found Jesus. Yeah. Right. That was the light of the world. Yeah. <laughs> So, so when, when, when that happens, you know, that's suffering. Yeah. When that happens, then, then you rejoice. You thank God that your life has been changed. Yes. Mm -hmm. I read. Verse 5. Uh, Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Now, 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 uh, all souls belong to God. Mm -hmm. And, and, and. God, uh, we're going to have to give account uh, to, to everything yeah, that we do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Those that are alive, that's the quick, and those that are dead, mm -hmm. amen, uh, that did receive Christ. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to give an account for their soul. Right. All souls belong to God. Mm -hmm. right. God wants you to accept him. Amen. If you reject him, there's going to have to be an account for that. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you. Yes, All right. And you know, God has, God has things in place so that uh, although God is the ultimate righteous judge, amen, yes. uh, there's no darkness, there's no evil in him. No. Amen. No. He, but, but he has backup. Uh, 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 uh. All of your words are being recorded. Yeah. Everybody's words are being right. recorded. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, your thoughts, you know, your thoughts yeah. from afar. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And then God has assigned you an angel. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that, will, that will testify in the end of your good or your evil. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so it's not just God. Uh, it's, it's also your own words. Your 
where they could be rolled out the scrolls and found the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter uh, 61. And he started quoting and reading it from it. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes, Lord. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, to yes. preach deliverance to the captive, recovery of sight to the blind, to set in every them that are bruised, uh, to preach the acceptance. Year of the Lord. Then the Bible says he rolled up the book, sat down, and said, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in thy eyes. He was letting them know uh, that I am the Messiah. Yeah. He was letting them know that I'm here to heal your broken heart. Yeah. And if you're captive, I'm here to set you yeah. free. Yeah. For whom the Son is set free, free indeed. I'm free today because of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my life yeah. is free today because of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. My spirit is free today yeah. because of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, that used to be a terrible life. Hallelujah. Uh, well, 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 I'm going to use the word that they used to do. I used to be a constant life. Uh, I used to allow to uh, uh, have, have, have issues upon issues upon issues upon issues upon issues. Upon issues. Uh, but, but when uh, uh, the Lord draws me in, uh, uh, and, and saw my heart, cried out, Lord, I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to live like this anymore. Uh, and then, then the Lord started putting things in place where I had to humble myself uh, and come to Jesus. Uh, and when I humble myself, Now, 
and standing, feeling in the air yeah. that there's something happening. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. And the kingdom of Christ is being preached. Yeah. Thank you. So, 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 read that verse again, what does it say? But the end of all things is at hand. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Now, now because of, of the hope that we have in Christ, he said, be sober. That means think uh, uh, righteously according to the scriptures. Be sober minded. Don't, don't be influenced by the world. Don't be intoxicated by the news. But be intoxicated by the good news, yes. which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let, let that influence you. Yes. Amen? Amen? Let that be on your mind. Right. Y'all with me? Amen. Oh, thank you. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Can I be honest? Amen. Yeah. 
and you find that, oh, I'm falling short in this area, then you do something about it. Uh, you do something about it. Right. You repent. Yes. Amen? You repent. That means the word repentance means to turn. Turn from it. Amen? And go in another direction. Repentance is not uh, emotion. No. Re true repentance is a decision in the mind. Right. Make up your mind, oh, uh, I got to lose 20 pounds, so I'm going to stop eating sweets. Uh, that's a decision. You repented from eating sweets. Uh, and you went in another direction. Never go, I don't say never go, but don't go back to sweets. You follow me? Hey, but you never go back to sin. Yeah. That's, that's the judgment. Yes. The church is being judged right now. But when Jesus comes back with the same, oh, then we don't judge the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. So our judgment is now. Right. Right. Good and evil. All right. I see now we get a little deep now. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Um, there's there's, there's going to be, uh, when we get caught up uh, to meet the Lord, and then there's going to be another judgment. Uh, where in, in that judgment, the saints are not going to be judged for good and evil. There's, that judgment is going to be for rewards. Saints are going to be blessed. Amen. But by the works that you do here upon this earth. Amen. Uh, and, and that's what Paul was referring to. And he said, when he talked about uh, gold and silver, stubble and wood. Amen. The wood is the thing that you did that, that uh, you know, with no sin in it, but it wasn't God in it, if you're allowed to say it that way. Uh, and it won't survive the fight. Things that you do according to the word of God, that's the gold and the silver. And that's what's going to, uh, you're going to be blessed with at that moment. But then there's another moment uh, they call the great white Roman judgment. Not that the straight up sin. We're going to be up in there, and that's where the scripture he's talking about when we be, when the saints are going to judge the world. Uh, you still have a chance to follow that? Uh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess I was thinking when it says judgment, when the first begin at the household of faith, yeah. uh, people who are saved that are becoming stumbling blocks and doing wicked things and stuff like that, that are, are putting the impediment in God's progress. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. They're going to be part of that judgment. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Though, yeah, absolutely. We don't want to. There's, there's people that are in churches, that come to churches that are embedded uh, uh, by the enemy. Amen? Yep. Oh, yeah. Say amen. Thank you. Say amen. 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 But, now, the saints know this Walk in the light as he is in the light. Amen. And, 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 and don't get caught up with their rules. Amen. All right. Let's move on. The first thing. Eight. Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. Now look. He said, above all things, have fervent charity. Charity is love. Yeah. Right? Right. He said, fervent. Yes. Amen. Have, have some hot love. Yeah. Amen. For your brother and your sister. Yeah. Amen. My wife is laughing at me because I said hot love. <laughs> Amen. Have, have some passionate love. A truly love the brotherhood. Amen. Love the brother. Love sinners. Amen. Love the sinners. Am I right? Right. Love
You gotta love somebody that's despitefully using you. Yes. And going against you. Yes. That can't be nothing but God in your life. God. To be able to perform that. Yes. God. Baby. <laughs> and that's the goal. You see, you see, that comes through one's relationship with God. Man, when, when you when you shout out to him and do things dutifully and faithfully, he transposes that love into you. Amen. And now, now I'm gonna say it because, because this is the tricky part. If you back up from God, if you draw down to him, he'll draw down to you. Yeah. But if you back up from him, then 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 then
So, so, so when the Bible says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, right. it doesn't mean stop doing it. Right. Right? Yeah. It means to fortify. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, let's go. Come on, guys. What do we have? Go. Eight. Eight. Me? And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. All right. Amen. Amen. When it seems 